Hello everyone, this is Joshua from Frost Dragon Designs, and today I'd like to show you how to remove broken spring locking clutches from your pins. I, like many of you, uh, have a pretty large collection of enamel pins, and I like to wear a lot of them out and about, like on my bag and stuff. Um, but I'm always a little bit afraid of losing them, so... I know a lot of people are like me, and we like to use these spring-locking uh, clutches, uh, pinbacks, and they do a pretty good job. I mean, they they hold on pretty strongly. Um, you can tug on them; they're not really going to go anywhere until you uh, pull on this disc and separate this top disc from this bottom disc. You can kind of do that with like a pinching motion, and they just come right off. Uh, and you can see when I when I pinch it, you know, they separate and it just comes right off. But the problem that you will sometimes come across is that this top disc will come off. Um, it's a mechanical connection to the shaft that's in there. It's basically just crimped on when they're made at the factory. Uh, and just sometimes they, they just aren't crimped on there well enough. And so this top disc will come off. Uh, and that leaves you with nothing to pull on to get it off. So I'm going to show you how to get one of these spring locking pin backs off uh, when this top disc comes off. You're just going to need a pair of needle nose pliers um, and some patience. This... This is pretty much the tool that you're going to need. It's a pair of needle nose pliers. They're handy to have. They don't cost terribly much. You can get them at Walmart, get them off Amazon, pretty much wherever you want. So this is one of the offending pinbacks. You can see it's missing its top. When you compare it to you know what what they're supposed to look like. I'm going to go ahead and pop this on here and then show you how to get it off. It's probably going to take me a few more attempts than you're going to see, but uh, I'll show you how to get it off. So, it's on there, and there's really no way to get it off without using needle nose pliers. So the thing you're trying to do is you're trying to get these pliers around that little tube. Once you get it that far, it's helpful to be able to get your thumb under it because you're going to pull on that shaft. And then you also need it to be pulled off of the pin. So I'm just going to try and get a grip on it and pull. Kind of get my thumbnail under there. Not quite. There we go. And it's off. So, good luck. You can do it. Pers patience, persistence. You can get it off there. Have a good one. 